Hello friends, let's learn about data restrictions unit 6, continue to our course IDT. So in this video we will learn about what is restrictions, what are different types of restrictions and how we can uh, apply that in uh, information design tool. Okay, so restriction is a condition in SQL that sets criteria to limit the data written by a query. So it is a condition means uh, Suppose there, there is some data which you don't want to see for the users or this, there may be some requirements which users don't want to see the data based on some conditions. So that conditions is nothing but a restriction. So we need to put this restriction uh, at various uh, stages in the data foundation or in a business uh, layer level. So, so the reasons are uh, like depend on the data requirements of the target user and restrict user access to certain values for security reasons. So suppose uh, there are some users for whom we don't want to see the data from the business perspective. So uh, we restrict the data for that particular users. So that is one reason. The other one reason is data requirements of the users. They come up with the requirement that they don't want to see some specific data on the report. So we restrict the data. That is the reasons of the restrictions, and while uh, there are while applying the restrictions, there are some drawbacks as well to uh, restrictions. So, if two or more similarly restricted objects are included in the same query, the conflict between the where clauses uh, causes no data to be written. So, our example, we have country name. Uh, if we are putting United Kingdom and USA, only who. Uh, if these both conditions are matching, then only it will get the data. Otherwise, for other countries, it will not retrieve the data. So we need to resolve these issues as well while applying the conditions. So let's see what are the different types of data restrictions, data restrictions to objects, data restrictions using filters, and data restriction to tables. So we can apply the restrictions to particular objects. We can apply the restriction to uh, table by using filters. So applying mandatory data restrictions where we uh, apply the uh, data restrictions. On the business layer, when we create a dimension, if you see this is a dimension name and this is a dimension editor uh, window where we have select and in uh, there is a below option where we, where in, in this we can put uh, some conditions. Suppose we just wanted to display the data for the country US. So we can make the condition as country is equal to US here in this where block. So this is one method on the where clause we can put a restriction. The alternative restriction method is in select clause. So in select clause we can use a case statement. If you see this is a case statement when for some year we wanted to have some calculation and then for some other years we want some other calculation. So in that case we can you have this restriction here. So that is nothing but a conditional select clause. The other one is column filters in data foundation. So on the data foundation when we design the means add the tables there. We can apply particular filters there. Uh, so suppose uh, cell, uh, cell table, uh, we just wanted to give the data for a particular cell type is equal to S or cell type equal to is R. So for that condition means we can have this uh, like for this particular insert uh, filter here on this table. If you see this is a funnel icon here, it is nothing but a cell type is equal to S. So for this column, the filter has been applied. So whatever the data this table will return, it will be for just for that particular condition. Okay, inference method is another method which is a mandatory filter means where limit the data written for an object to values from the table info by an object that also match values in another table. So there may be some situations that first table and second table is having the same values uh, so in that in that case the general restrictions uh, doesn't apply so maybe we need to use the inference method that we will see how how we can do this in a practical sessions about information inference method coming to the applying of optional data restrictions means we have filter object definition 
which is a predefined where clause that can be inserted into the select statement where uh, inferred by an object in the query pane. So when uh, developing a report in the web intelligence rich client, we can have that in uh, objects in the query filter pane. Then filter objects are stored in the business layer. So we can create a filter objects in the business layer. Like filter objects are nothing but uh, it's same like dimensions, measures, so it, but it is a condition uh, statements. Filter objects advantage is it is useful for complex or frequently used condition. Uh, give users the choice of applying condition and no need for multiple projects. Uh, so that is a uh, disadvantage is a force a condition on users to restrict their access to the part of the data source. That is the one uh, disadvantage of the filter object. There are two types of mandatory filters in uh, like at, at inverse and folder level. So a inverse mandatory folder has no dependency on the folder it belongs. It, it is included in the query independently of the objects. So and the folder level is having it appear only if an object of the folder used in the query. A folder mandatory filter is triggered when users add an object. So it is this folder level filter is only when the user use that particular object. So in the query panel of the web intelligence rich client, when we add any objects from the result query panel and add a universe predefined filter to the pa query panel, then we can uh, see that means whatever the objects we have added that will get affected in the filters. Okay, so the, that's all, uh, that's all for, for this uh, data restrictions. Let's understand means what we have understood, what is restriction, which restriction is optional and applicable by end users, what is filter objects, what does inference method do. So first is restriction is a conditional in select uh, SQL that sets criteria to limit the data return by query and which restriction is optional so condition objects is optional which we put in a select then what is a filter objects a filter object is a free defined where clause that can be inserted into select statement and informed by the objects in the query pane and what does the inference method do inference method limits the data return for an objects to values from the table infer by the other objects that also match the values in other table Okay, so I hope uh, you have understood these concepts. I will be taking the practical examples related to, to these uh, data restrictions in next uh, video. So if you like my video, then please like it. Please subscribe to my channel as well so that you will get to know about my next uh, video. Thank you for watching.